The Suzuki factory is back with a vengeance in 1988. Kevin Schwantz raced in only three Grand Prix last year, but this year he's got a full season lined up on the Pepsi Suzuki. I was employed more to look after Kevin. Kevin had never been to Europe. I was seen as a bit of a, of a senior. That year in 88, I heard that he'd been to Suzuka testing a um, different time to me, and I heard some lap times um, that were very impressive. But you always hear impressive lap times in the off season, and you kind of take them with a pinch of salt. Um, turns out they were probably true. Under the bridge for the first time, and it's Wayne Rainey leading. Kevin Schwantz in second place and right on his tail, a superb start for the talented Texan who goes through on the inside to take the lead for the first time. But immediately, Rainey tries to snatch it back and he succeeds. All Kevin worried about at that time was beating Wayne. And Rainey's the, you know, the slick, professional, well-thinking man, and Kevin's the wild man, and there, really, there was a clash. Gardner holding on, but Schwantz is right in his wheel tracks and Schwantz goes through on the inside. There was such a huge separation from Gardner and myself to the rest of the field. I think everybody else was just really lost on what to do with first race of the year, new bikes, track that had been wet, and oh, and by the way, now we're going to throw a dry race at you. I couldn't understand how he was going so fast on that bike. And, uh, you know, he brought a different philosophy to it and his sort of strange way of riding and very upright, and, uh, which changed the ballpark again. Um, and I'm fortunate enough that Gardner and I had a great race. He made a little mistake. But it's Schwantz in the lead, and Gardner's off the track. Wayne Gardner's made a mistake. He's off the track and handed it on a plate to Kevin Schwantz. And, and, and I won. Just one corner to go through the chicane, and Kevin Schwantz is just yards away from a fantastic victory on the Team Pepsi Suzuki bike. Yeah, he was just astonishing. Just turned up and on, on a bike that was pretty rubbish and um, one first time out. Uh, I don't know if I could have beat him had he not made that mistake, but I remember riding around the whole race thinking to myself, second my first Grand Prix, I'm pretty happy with that. He came and won the first race, fantastic, yeah. To his own surprise, I think. I've known him when he was a little towhead kid. So I knew he had the talent to do it. I watched him on dirt track races. So I knew he had the talent to do it. Whether the bike was capable of doing it and, and the right team and stuff like that was always a, uh, an unknown. So I didn't know. But no, it didn't really surprise me. And it seemed like the cool down lap took an eternity because I was like, man, what, what are they going to get the press conference? Oh my God, what kind of questions they? Oh my, you know, I just, so many thoughts going through your head. Uh, what, what, what do they do? What do they do after you win something like this? <laughs> I remember hearing Gardner and Lawson both on the podium saying, well, you, you won't do this again. And okay, I won't until Nürburgring four races later. <laughs> Rainey leads, but Schwantz looking for the inside, goes up the inside of the chicane. They're side by side through the chicane. They disliked each other to, took that to a new level. The bashing fairings, they couldn't bear, they couldn't bear for each other to win or, or beat them. Um, it was like, it was just them two in the world. You know, uh, hatred, I, I, it may not even be a strong enough word for it when we first started racing. They hated each other. Not in the sense that they hated each other, but uh, Wayne wasn't going to let Kevin win and Kevin wasn't going to let Wayne win. They really, really, really hated each other's guts. Front row press conference, Wayne's on one end of the row, I'm on the other. We refused to even recognize each other in the room, just opposite, looking opposite directions, not even looking at, at the people. Maybe hate's a bit too much of a strong word, but they certainly disliked each other, and, and uh, you speak to them now, and they're actually not sure why they did. They're almost rubbing wheels, Laney running wide, and Schwanz goes up the inside, then surely Schwanz will run wide, they're side by side. It was fun to watch. They would do things on the bike, and I would just think, that was awesome. We've had two thirds of the race rather than both sideways. Oh, I don't believe it. They're wheeling now together. That was fun to watch because I know the people in the stands weren't getting the show I was getting, and I was impressed. Ed was his own guy. Um, you know, we actually did, we hung out quite a bit in 88 and 89 because I still didn't like Wayne very much. And 
a big slide there from Kevin Schwanz. You know, and it was a whole lot nicer to hang out with an American, even as miserable a sod as Ed could be on occasions. What I do remember is uh, uh, how they would each react after qualifying. And Kevin would come in after taking a 100th off Rainey, and, and his first comment would be nothing about the bike or the time or anything. It's just no sleep for him tonight. Great stuff. Will it be Schwanz? Will it be Rainey? It's going to be Kevin Schwanz. The Suzuki wins.